Hi, this is Tim from the Nintendo Blogger, just here with another Nintendo news update. So first of all, there's um, a package image or box shot of uh, Dragon Quest X Special Edition Wii U console, which is going to be available in uh, Japan from the end of March, March the 30th. Looks like a cool uh, box set and I'm sure it's going to be very popular over there. Whether we're going to see a similar package uh, coming over to Europe and the US, well, we'll just have to wait and see on that one. So just moving along, um, Pandora's Tower, which has been uh, kind of a long time uh, coming to the US, well, it is finally going to make it in April. I believe the original date was April the 16th, it may have been changed a couple of times. Apparently Amazon is saying it's not going to ship until um, around the 22nd to 24th of April now. Um, again, it might vary depending on where you order the game from, but it is still definitely coming in April if you've been waiting for that one. Now, just quickly, um, just mentioning the Wii U um, update that is available. Uh, it's become available in the last few days. Now, it, this isn't the um, system update that you may have been expecting, which is going to speed up the um, operating system. This is just kind of a sort of stabilization type thing, which is just going to make the whole system a little bit more stable, less prone to any glitches or crashing, things like that. And um, I, to be honest, mine does seem to have speeded up a little bit anyway, but um, not a huge amount, but I certainly noticed a difference. Maybe that was just me. I don't know. Or I'm thinking it was. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, um, the actual update, which is going to speed up the iOS, is coming in April. I've got no exact date. Um, so don't panic, it still will be with us shortly. Now just letting you know about um, LEGO City Undercover. It's had some early reviews and it's a bit of a mixed bag, um, as probably ever really with LEGO games. Edge, which is um, a very well-renowned um, game magazine, review magazine, has only given it a rather poor 5 out of 10. The official Nintendo magazine has given its equivalent of 9 out of 10 or 90 percent and there's a few sort of uh, reviews out there it's kind of in between um, so it'll be interesting when it comes out I don't really sort of go too much by reviews I always prefer to uh, try and get my hands on the game or at least uh, play it for some time if I can borrow it or whatever myself before I can come up with a verdict but it'll be interesting to see when it comes out I'm sure it's going to be really good um, so just lastly, um, the, um, just letting you know about Resident Evil Revelations, which is of course coming out for the Wii U as we know now. And uh, just to let you know, I've just first of all, there's going to be some uh, uh, an Infernal mode actually, which basically means um, it's a very very hard mode um, for the Wii U version. And also just bringing you some box art for uh, the, I believe this is US, it might be the Europe as well. I've also um, got the Japanese one as well for you to take a quick peek at as well. So that's pretty much it for this update. And this has been Tim at the Nintendo Blogger. Thanks for watching.